Hey there, I'm back for another uh, special vlog for our coffee break time as we head into the holiday season and I want to share memories of things that I remember um, gearing up for Christmas. I ain't done nothing goofy yet for the holidays, but I just might, so stay tuned, guys. I may have some Christmas songs I may sing to you, some Christmas jokes I may give to you. Who knows? <laughs> but today I just want to share a memory about something I wanted for Christmas, something I may have asked for for Christmas and or a birthday, and I never quite got it. And I want to tell you that story and what it was all about and the reasoning behind it, according to my parents. Now, this memory may not be exactly... Christmas oriented, but in a way it kind of is. So I thought about it and I wanted to share it with you. It's a fun story that I like to remember and I just wanted to share it today on the coffee break. So here we go. I remember as a child um, being very imaginative. I was an only child, so I had plenty of time to live in my imagination and play. I could very easily play and not have any problem going into a new world. So my fantasy world was very active as an only child. And so I was very creative and I loved to draw and color and do all those creative type of things. But I had toys, you know, but the toys that I had, of course, were very typical and stereotypical to what uh, parents thought at that time were what boys should be playing with. So you had to have your balls, you had to have uh, things like trucks and big building block type things, you know, to make it masculine and boyish. And all that's fine and dandy, you know, even army men. Now, my father was in the army, so I guess it makes sense that they would give you a whole army men set. You know, you remember those little green little army men, little plastic ones, and you'd set them up and, you know, and they'd fight each other. I mean, you know, boys played cowboys and Indians and army and, uh, you know, things like that all the time. And that's the way it was when I was growing up is that boys played boy things and girls played with girl things like home ec sets and uh, cooking and dolls and dressing up uh, things. <laughs> now, I have to admit, I was never the kind of kid that was interested in those kinds of things, um, in the, the, you know, the type of things that the girls did. And I had a I had an interest in playing with the boy things, but here's where the crossover happened. This is my memory. And I would always want to have a request at Christmas time. You know, when they ask you, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I would always put in my request for certain things that I was truly interested in getting in the way of toys. So one of those things that I wanted was a G.I. Joe. You remember G.I. Joe's? I mean, that was a very boyish thing, I thought. And uh, maybe a Stretch Armstrong, you know? Um, and I was a goofy kid, still am. And I would get things like Mr. Potato Head so I could make funny, goofy faces on the potato heads and uh, put them together in any way, shape, form, or fashion I wanted to. But I remember wanting the G.I. Joe in specific. I never had a Stretch Armstrong. I never had a G.I. Joe before. And I really wanted that. And whether I got it for my birthday or whether I got it for Christmas, it didn't matter. That's what I wanted as one of my toys. Now, here's where the story is interesting to me is because it crosses over into thinking about how we stereotype what's a boy and what's a girl and what boys should do and what girls should do and things like that. You know, and I was just one of those middle of the road kids, you know, I liked being creative. And so I was quirky. I was goofy. I was introverted. I was to myself and very much a loner, but my imagination was wild and crazy. And I would want to do things that were sort of against my nature. Like I would like to have worldwide concert tours over the house and pretend that I was a singer going on concert tours. You know, uh, that's not something that boys would necessarily want to do. It is something that the girls might want to do because they want to play dress up and uh, pretend on that scale. But boys are masculine and they do masculine type of things. So I don't know. 
I, I thought that a GI Joe was just as masculine as anything, but my parents didn't think so. And this is a very prevalent memory for me because I really wanted that GI Joe. Stretch Armstrong would have been great too, you know. These were, I don't know, these were boy type toys, I thought. I think, and they were catered to the boys. I mean, girls wouldn't go necessarily go get a G.I. Joe. They might get a Ken doll to go with their Barbie, but not a G.I. Joe or Stretch Armstrong. Those are for the boys, come on. But my parents didn't think so. And they would not get me a G.I. Joe. They would not get me a Stretch Armstrong. They wouldn't do that. And here's the reasoning for that. They thought that boys should not be playing with dolls. And in their mind's eye, their mindset was a G.I. Joe, a Stretch Armstrong. Well, those are dolls. Those aren't just toys. And they're not toys for boys because they're dolls. And boys don't play with dolls, right? <laughs> Wrong. Boys do play with certain types of dolls. I mean, wh what about teddy bears and stuffed animals, uh, you know, when we're young, you know? Do you let boys have those to sleep with? Sure. Well, those are similar to a doll. It's not like I was asking for uh, the baby doll that you dress up in little cute pink panties or the baby doll that cries when you shake it or pees or wets itself. You know? I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for a real a boy toy. You know, I wanted a G.I. Joe. Come on. But they saw that that was a doll. And boys don't play with dolls, so I did not get the G.I. Joe ever growing up. And on hindsight, I look back at it and I think, well, those really aren't dolls in the traditional fashion that we think of dolls. I mean, my mom collected dolls all the way up till she was um, gone. You know, she loved dolls, porcelain dolls and what have you, and dressing them up and making them look pretty and all that. Well, G.I. Joe is not something you dress up and make look pretty or anything like that. It was just a boy toy, kind of like the little army men. I mean, I related it to the little green army men, you know? And that wasn't acceptable. And Stretch Armstrong was just like a big superhero muscle man type, you know? And back then, I don't remember them having a whole lot of options available for things like even Batman uh, action-like figures or Spider-Man or any of the comic book superhero types, you know? But I'm sure that they were around at that point in time, but what comes to mind is very uh, prevalent, and that is the G.I. Joe doll and the Stretch Armstrong. But I never got it. Never got it. Ever. Even to this day, I've never gotten one, not even for myself. But my whole point was that I wanted that for Christmas. I wanted that for my birthday, and I didn't get it. And it was because my parents didn't believe that boys should be playing with dolls in any way, shape, form, or fashion, and they thought that the G.I. Joe and the Stretch Armstrong were, in fact, dolls. What do you think about that? Do you think they're dolls? <sighs> I, I don't think that should have been prevented from uh, having one. I mean, you know, for that reason. You know, if we couldn't afford it, that was one thing. But <laughs> to tell me that boys don't play with dolls, that kind of just was a little confusing. So that's what I think. And that's my story for the day about uh, Christmas and, uh, you know, what, what kids want for Christmas. You know, take them seriously and uh, think about getting them what they want. You know, I mean, that's what sharing and giving is all about at Christmas time is, you know, thinking about what they want and trying to fulfill that wish. Um, you know, and as far as gift giving is concerned and commercialism and uh, consumerism and all that at a holiday time, well, it is what it is, you know. But the whole idea behind it was to, to give and uh, to graciously receive. And we're going into that season where you got to think about that again. And this was my memory I wanted to share with you today. So if you like it, you got any comments about it, please uh, leave them in the comment boxes below. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll talk again real soon. Come up with some more memories to share with you. Until then, have a great day, and I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.